welcome back to the next video in our series where we're looking at how you can create quizzes or exams in Moodle uses, using the Moodle quiz module. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add questions to your question bank. So right now, I am um, in my Moodle, which is running on the Snap theme. Your Moodle instance may be different depending on the theme that you have installed. So in the last video, I showed you how to create a question bank. And in my case, the question bank is the demo bank. So if I click on this bank, I can edit the questions that are in that bank. And you'll notice that I was moved back to the questions category. So you can easily do the same by going to questions. Then you select the question bank that you want to use. In this case, it will be demo bank. And you can come and create a new question here. So this is one way of adding questions to your to your question bank. I'll show you another way in another video. So let's create a new question. And our question for this instance will be a multiple choice question. So I'll click add. And once we are there, we'll just have a demo question that we will add to our bank. I will call this demo1. Remember the question name is not the one that students will see. This is for cataloging purposes. So in the question text, that's where you would type in the text that you want the students to see. So my question will be, what is the color of the leaves of an avo? Cardo tree. All right, so I can change the default mark down here. And here's an important setting. Do I want my multiple choice question to have one answer or do I want it to have multiple answers? If I want one answer, I can choose a B. That means students will get radio buttons that can only be tied to one answer they cannot select multiple answers but if i have multiple correct answers i can choose the other option here so i think i'll choose multiple i'll, I'll choose one answer because you know avocado leaves will normally be one color maybe it's different in other places i don't know so now we can go down to the choices and before we get to the choices you can see there's an option here do you, do you want to shuffle the choices this allows Moodle to reorder the questions every time the reorder the options, sorry, every time the quiz question is offered. So I'll leave it like that. You want to, how do you want to number the choices? The default is small A's, B's, and C's, or you can have the capital A's if you prefer. You can choose whatever you want down here. I will choose that. Then our answer choices. Under choice one, I will enter green. And below that, I'll be asked, what is the grade for choosing this? And it's a it's 100% because that is the correct answer. If I have any feedback for students who choose this, I can type it in here. Then choice two, I will choose purple. And students who answer this, they'll get none because that is not correct. If you want to add negative marking, you could also scroll down and you could choose whatever percentage you want to give for the negative marking. And when students select an incorrect answer, they will receive a negative mark, so it will eat into their quiz credit. But I'll leave this as none. Then I'll get to choice three, and I'll choose gold. And again, I'll leave it as none. Then I'll add the last choice, which is choice four, in my case, and I will have silver. So the grade will be none. If you have more than more than four choices, you can come and add a fifth, a fifth um, choice, or you can add more blanks down here and it will give you more options. But I will leave this as it is for now. So let me save changes. All right, so now I am back and you can see I now have a question. So Moodle will highlight the question that I've just added to the question bank. And if you want to test if everything is working, 
I would advise you to click on the magnifying glass icon so that you can preview the quiz. And when you do so, it will pop up in a new window and you can fill in correct responses and to select the correct response. So it's working correctly. Let's see if it will reshuffle the options. Let me start again. Okay, there you go. You can see green was the first option last time and now it is showing as the last option. So it's working as we set it to. So now I can close the preview. So this is how you would add questions to your question bank if you're adding questions directly to Moodle. In the next video, I will show you another way that you can add questions to Moodle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will stick around for the other video videos that are going to be coming up in this series.